right guys we're gonna be setting up your laptop right here so let's get started with the basics so you've got right here your adapter and what you need to do is just plug this in here like so and that way you can have it set up now to plug this in you will do this to your outlet and this will go to your computer so it's gonna be on the side you guys will notice this right here that's where you plug this in so just plug this in there then plug it to your outlet and then you can charge it up do you need to charge this up before we begin the setup you don't but there will be updates running on this when we're done the setup which means we're gonna need to power it up so that's why just have this handy so you guys can do this but as of now you do not need to charge it up right now just when the updates come up then we're gonna charge it up technically we want to run some full cycles on the battery itself so it means bring it down to about 10 percent and then bring it all the way up to 100 percent and then do that three times when something's brand new even with their new batteries they still have some memory in them anyways let's just open this up and the way to turn this on so that's on the top right hand corner you will see delete and then that's your power button just press your power button and then your laptop will be turning on anyways it seems like this laptop did come with zero battery which again is not ideal and that's not ideal because you never want the battery to be fully dead and in this case it was so we're just gonna turn it on by holding on to the power button beside the delete button on the top right and once you do that you should see a light on that button coming up then your screen has to load up as your screen is turning on it should say something like this just a moment do not unplug your laptop at any point in time if it came with zero battery like this one now as your laptop turns on you should see something like so now using your trackpad just choose yes so your trackpad's down here below you can just to use it as a mouse using a screen reader turn on narrator by pressing windows plus control plus enter for more accessibility features press windows plus u or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner in this case we can only use english or french we're just going to select english click and then choose any country wherever you guys are at once you do so press on yes i just want to show you on your trackpad you can press on it or you can just tap both work right here we can use a few ways so us or canadian multilingual standard we're just gonna go in with us it's fine then it's gonna ask you if you want a second keyboard we're gonna go on and skip that so on the bottom right hand side skip then it's just gonna proceed to look for our internet so we're gonna take this out this check mark and we're gonna choose our latest one so right now this is my wi-fi network that we're gonna connect up and we're gonna press connect put in your password once you put in your password press on next and then it's gonna check if everything's okay Obviously, if you're having any issues with this, just try another network and you should be okay. Once you do so, just press on next on the bottom right. Then it's going to check for updates. So at this point in time, if you did get a laptop that had some battery on it, some charge, which uh, it should technically come with some charge. Well, this is the time where you should plug it in because sometimes this takes forever and sometimes the updates also take forever, which uh, again, you don't want this to die on you when it's applying any of these updates when it's checking no big deal but when it's installing it is a big deal after just a little bit it should say just a minute then it's gonna just restart then you should see this up again so just a loading screen after just a little bit you should see something like so about updates then welcome and just be patient with it it does depend on your own internet speed how long it takes to look for the updates and apply any updates from here just choose accept on the bottom right hand side accept and you have to accept these conditions from there just put your device's name it can be anything you like in this case we're just going to choose tech and design going to next once you choose next it's just going to say just a minute and then you just have to do that just wait then you should see a black screen again it's just gonna kind of restart you're gonna get a loading screen once again and here we go so at this point in time you should sign in if you don't have an account you can make one right down here below you're gonna see the sign in so go ahead and sign in so here we go just add your microsoft account if you don't have one you can create one you're gonna see that option down here below where it says no account create one 
So just click there and just follow the steps. So to create one, you just need basic information. But if you have a Microsoft account, right now is the time to just put it in there. All right, so once you put in your password and your account, you should see this. If you create an account, you should see this. So you can set it up as a new thing or restore it from your PC. So if you had a PC before and you just want to restore it, choose that option. But I'm assuming you're brand new and that's why you're watching this. So just set up as a new PC. Or maybe you just don't want to transfer anything. It's fine. Just select that. Go on the bottom, next, and then create a pin. Now, this can be as complicated or as easy as you want. We're just going to create a pin. Put in your pin here and then you're going to confirm. After you confirm, click on OK down here below. So once again, once you put in your pin, just go on the bottom where it says OK. Click on OK. And from here, what I suggest doing is choosing yes for your location. A uh, lot of apps, a lot of things need your location. So we choose yes. If you don't want this to know your location, choose no. But generally speaking, most of you will want that. Now find my device. This is important just in case you lose it or it gets stolen. This is good to have it on. So I would just turn it on. We're going to accept. And then from here, just scroll down. You're going to see this and you're going to see two options. So include optional or require only. So this part is about sending information. So if you guys want just the required or if you guys want to send everything out to Microsoft so they know how to make things better for you, then go ahead and do that. For me, it's fine. Everything's good. So I'm going to go into accept. I'd rather them getting everything because even if they, they're saying they don't, they really are. Anyways, right now it says improve inking and typing. Well, this part is about, again, your privacy. So if you guys want to send that information to Microsoft about the links and everything or not, um, we're going to go on and say yes. I do want to send that. Now, this part is all about diagnostics. A lot of you won't care about this. I would choose no, but some of you might want this. So just choose that data if you want to see that. Uh, let apps use their advertising. All right, so right here, it's all about ads and Basically, can they personalize this for you, personalize ads, or no? So it's all about tracking. I'm going to choose yes. I'd rather get ads that are, I mean, if I'm going to get ads, might as well have them personalized to me and not just have any type of ad. So I'm going to go into yes. So right here, you have to register this product. It's something very important, actually. So again, for your warranty and everything, you guys want to register this. So just put in your name, first name, last name, your email address. I would use the same email address that you use to sign in with this. It could be another one though. And then just going to next. Once you do so, you're going to see this register and protect. So I would put a check mark on every single one. But again, you do not have to. This is just about how much you want to share, how much you don't want to share. So going to next on the bottom right hand side. And right here, this is going to customize your experience. You can skip this, but it's actually pretty good just to get you started with this whole thing. So Technically, if you're in development, you're probably not even watching this video. <laughs> but if uh, you guys are just going to use this for a lot of Netflix and all that stuff, then, then go ahead, put a check mark there. Gaming, going to do a lot of gaming. Go ahead and do that. If you're going to do both gaming and entertainment, then choose gaming. If you're going to do primarily this for school, I mean, you can still do gaming entertainment, but primarily for school or work, just choose school. And then creativity. Well, this is more about like editing videos, pictures and all that stuff. If you think, if you think you're going to do everything here, just choose skip. But if you know that there's one main thing, because you will be able to do everything, but there's one main thing that you're going to do and choose that particular thing. So in this case for me, it's kind of hard, but I know gaming is a good one. So we're going to go ahead and do gaming. We're going to choose entertainment school and creativity. So I'm pretty much choosing everything except for development because I won't be using this specifically for that. Then if you scroll down, you're going to see more options such as business and family. So again, you do have those options. I'm going to choose business as well. Choose accept and then keep going. All right. This part is pretty cool because you guys can take your calls um, right here. So anything that's coming in, again, your calls can go right into your laptop, which is kind of nice. You guys will be able to also see your text messages and all that. And um, it's kind of nice to have that. So I would definitely scan this QR code, but if you don't want to, you can skip this. All right, and down here below, if you scroll down just a little bit, it's gonna tell you that for iPhone, you have to skip. 
And that's because for iPhones are just, they do that actually with your Mac and it does really well. Anyways, we're just gonna play some skip for now. And now this part, if you have an Android, especially Android, you're gonna want this to be, yes, import. And that's because anything that you're working on your phone, you're looking at your phone, you can look it up here right away. So you can continue where you left off. So that's kind of neat. But if you don't, just choose not now, going to next. Now this, you get one month free. This is Microsoft Office. So Microsoft Word, all that stuff, you get it free for one month. Then you have to pay for it. It is a subscription service. So some of you already have this and maybe you have the license for it. So you don't need this free trial. So if you have the license, do not choose this free trial. If you don't have it, then might as well get the free trial. You get a month free and then you can just buy it. But uh, in my case, I have the license. I'm gonna decline this. And then right here, it's gonna give you even more things that you can give you, but I'm gonna decline it too. because I don't really need it. But just read up about it. It's about storage, mainly storage. It is kind of cheap, kind of. And then go in if you guys want to join this. Remember, we set this up as gaming as well. Well, here it is. We have a few options to go ahead and join. We're going to skip that for now. And for sure, you're gonna, you guys want to skip it if you already have all these things set up from previously. But if you're new, I would skip anyways and then set it up later. Just look into exactly what you want because there's so many things out there. Because technically, something like this isn't exactly for gaming. So if you're gonna game on something like this, you're gonna end up using something like GeForce or anything like that that streams games. There's a bunch of things out there, not just GeForce now, but uh, there's other websites you guys can use to stream games. So that way you don't actually download the game and install the game on your laptop, but you can play those games. So right now it's just gonna update. Um, you guys can just tap here to see what's going on. But other than that, it's just gonna teach you a little bit about it but you have to wait down here below. It's gonna tell you how long it's gonna to take to download uh, the latest update, and then you guys can just continue on. All right, so after a while, you should see something like so. Just click anywhere. Then it's gonna ask you for your pin, just put it in, and then finally, you're gonna be able to use this brand new laptop. Now it's still gonna take a few minutes, but at this point, it shouldn't take that long to just start things off. And finally, finally, you are all done. That's it, that's all you guys have to do for the setup. You're all ready to go. You guys can go on and just mess around with anything you want, get started, look at everything that you're getting in here, which uh, is kind of showed you already. Now, this particular laptop is not the fastest in the world. So this will take a little bit to load up, but the very first time you load anything, it's always gonna take longer than later on. So right now, just make sure you're hooked up to your Wi-Fi network. I would still check for more updates just in case there's more updates that are coming up. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.